ready to fight. Ready. Oh, well, Dustin Poirier is back, told us in the fighter meeting that he wanted to get the hands going in this matchup, and we'll see if he can follow suit on that edict here early in this fight. Nice job by the kickboxer there as he gets the front kick home early against the wrestler. You gotta think that's gonna be a big part of his repertoire here tonight. Well, yeah, John, especially when you have to stay at range. He's gotta maintain distance. And those types of weapons, those front kicks, those kicks up the middle, will allow for him to keep that wrestler at bay so that he can see when those level changes happen, allowing him to defend those takedowns. Oh, great block there. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh, huge left. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, big punch land. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Big right hand. Back and forth we go! Oh! Oh my goodness. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes have now landed for Josh Emmett. Emmett's swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. Under two minutes now to go round one. Poirier does a better job of he's the guy going forward. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Well, he was able to block that one. Takedown defense holds up. Look at the control of the posture as he land that knee. Oh, big right hand from the American top team trained Dustin Poirier. So many outstanding coaches out there, not the least of which is Mike Brown, who finds himself firmly in Poirier's corner as usual here tonight. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, almost like you saw the oh, oh, saved by the bell. The round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head straight. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Second round on the way. Well, you gotta think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. So now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body stretch really tells us. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh. Nice jab by Poirier. Emmett's nose is bleeding now. Oh, big one! Right. As his opponent postures up, he opens it. This man is landing brutal ground and pound. Oh my goodness, what a fight! Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it.
Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 46 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by TKO, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. All right, so another highlight for the reel for Dustin Poirier, your winner tonight in a very competitive matchup, I might add, by TKO. It was competitive until it wasn't. You know, the guy is one of those guys that can hurt you at any moment. He hurt his opponent, jumped on him, and got the finish. Congrats to Dustin.